of the strike too. Alright, everything's working tech wise so far. Alright, let's see what's going on. This has a fiend on the back. Well, I mean, this is also a fiend on Falco. I would have tilted. I actually don't play that character. Alright, let's see this. If uh, Ethan wants a chance of winning this, he's gotta have some kind of insane punish game. He'd... Everyone's been so fucking lazy to <laughs> get up there. Alright, that's something, I guess. I think he could have grabbed after his last hit that he missed. Or. to continue instead of what he went for. Alright, nice. Nice back air into whatever that was. That was the right idea. I think he could have hit that. I think he just messed up. Ethan misses the tag. Oh my god. The train starts. <coughs> what can Ethan do to stop my friend? Ethan's still playing defensive. But Mike Prim knows kind of how to, like, a good neutral. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's it. Alright, back to neutral game. That's like the the spaces matchup thing. It's drill time. It's so safe. Then you could go into, like, grab or something. Nice. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna go for the shine there. He probably at that point could have just grabbed the ledge. Ah, uh, he messes up. So, not an even game. Just with that stock way too early, but. I like that Mike Brum's going for this, because even if he doesn't hit them, like, he's got to practice for a tournament. Anyway, that's how you get better, hitting those shines. He's got the right idea. Skurz is really good at those shines. That's one of the things that's set. Alright, Ethan, you gotta not just sit there and spin shit. We should go back and watch this. Nice grab, up throws right. Goes for the regrab, can't get it. Got lucky there, I feel. But uh, Mike Brown just kind of choking against Roy. Although Ethan, though, Ethan, though, can do something. Oh my god, the bicycle kick. That was pretty good coverage with the up smash charge. That covered most things. His tilt. Ooh, misses the punish, going for the grab. He's got to go for like some dash grab or jump in case he grab. That was kind of unlucky, but that was a close game. But Mike Prem also has deep links and uh, got cheese killed, so. Who knows what'll happen? Who knows what'll happen game two? Who's to say? Will they just random again? Did they random the first time? I really wasn't paying attention. Alright, game two. After this, I gotta fight Ethan in both uh, BM and in Ultimate. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's see what he can do. But, right now, I gotta see him kind of figure out this Falco. Hard to play playing Falco as a beginner, but even though the matchup is uh, figuring out what to do against the lasers. Nice job getting back there, goes low. Like Prime was earlier saying, he doesn't really know how to edge guard against uh, the Roy recovery. He just thinks it's pretty good, so. He's going for stuff though, I'm trying to figure it out, but Ethan's recovering, so. I've got an Ethan match here, they're playing neutral for Ethan, but Ethan going for a straight remove the side beat. Unfortunate, he holds down and doesn't get the amps attack. So, up tilt there, yeah, yeah. Could have gone for sooner. Alright, pretty even match. My friend said it. You can't just go for them, which Ethan is definitely prone to do. Although that just works sometimes. Oh, that was really good. I feel like uh, my Prime probably should have gone to ledge there. Oh, no, Ethan can take this. Nice. He's, play he's going for like some good follow-ups, so this is just a punish game. Isn't all that bad. I think he could have just gone for grabbing ledge instead of going for the FB. But if he's not that comfortable doing it. Yeah. It's kind of expected. So Ethan here with a full stock lead. Let's see what he tries to do. I think Mike Prime could pretty easily just turn up and figure something out. But Ethan's also kind of a fiend taking away socks pretty quickly. Mike Prime, though, first to get something started. But right away, Ethan breaks it. He's getting some nice nutrients. Goes high there, learns his lesson last time. 
Uh, Ethan doesn't try the same thing again anyway. He tries to catch the move the ledge, so I think that's pretty good by Ethan expecting his opponent to adapt and guessing, so <laughs> made it a 50-50. So I like that, I like that mix up from both those players. Uh, roll in neutral. Alright, Ethan with a pretty big lead. I think he's so close to closing it out here. Oh. What is the up air Lincoln do? He couldn't find anything. He's on the platform. Alright. So let's just jump. Doesn't really know how to get off the ledge safely. Gives a turn on the winner. I don't know how comfortable Ethan is with ledge options. <sighs> hit a lot of you could have gone for there and hit, but misses. Ooh, nice time smash. There's not a lot you can do there. That smash is one of the trickiest moves to like play against. It's been catching people a lot recently too. It's been becoming a better option. Alright, Mike from getting something started. At this point it's anyone's game. Yeah, even game for all intents and purposes. That could have ended it all there. Let's see, who gets the next win and how big is it? Just for the down smash on the platform. I think up there could have done something. Oh my god, he just goes right at him. That was crazy. Mike Prem 2 0. Lives at 163 and wins it all. Oh, uh, so she's just got that. Chuck Mike Prem, that was a really close, really close game. Good job for Ethan, though. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be, but he's been getting so good.